dark. They don't need that information just yet. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe another time. Very well. Here's your seat then. Let me get your chair for you, lovely lady. <sighs> Eric, you swap bastard. Oh, uh, oh my. <laughs> Eric was very charming and his smile pulled at my heart. The way he kept flirting with me definitely designated him as the charmer of the demons. Yet there was a little distance in his eyes. Ooh, distance. Oh my gosh. I like it. Rare. By the way, I apologize for my behavior earlier. Stealing your second kiss like that. Well, it was just the second one. I mean, I'm, I'm out of business with the whole first kiss stuff. Like, you know, any frogs need kissing or magic spells being broken. I'm done for if somebody hands me a poison apple. Like, so, second kiss, I, I guess you could have had it. I mean... I wasn't I wasn't doing anything with it. Huh? What? Oh, hell yeah. When I I didn't believe that they were incubi. Oh yeah. Like that didn't count as a kiss. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine, I guess. I mean, you didn't just get up and grab and kiss me for no reason. <coughs> Sam. <coughs> I'm not as forward, unlike Sam. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not as for What the fuck? Dude, you're the charmer of this group. I mean, you're you've been forward all night. You've been you've been forward instead of backward. I don't know. Suddenly, Eric leaned in and whispered in my ear, "Oh my, oh my! You are very close to me, sir." I won't lie, though. I enjoyed kissing you and feeling you melt in my arms. Uh... between smacking him and trying to play it cool. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, 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 what? Okay, okay, I, okay, <clears throat> thinking through this again. We could hit him, we could definitely hit him. But he's just playing with our egos. Like, well, that's not actually a good thing to do. I mean, he's playing with our egos. We could smack him for doing that. <coughs> but, like, to him, he said it, like, the way, the same way he did when he opened, like, he pulled out our chair for us. This is, him saying something like that is the equivalent of pulling out the chair for me at dinner, or, you know, just, just being gentlemanly. He's just being the suave, cool guy at the Victorian party that's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm fabulous, I'm hot, everyone likes me, I know it. That, it's just what he does. He doesn't, I don't think I should I don't know if I should let him do that though or not I'm gonna be honest I want his route like I want to find out what apparently this guy's shtick is and I I want to figure that out but I don't know cuz I can do Eric or Damon I'm because I, I want I want to find out more about that. I want to see if I'm right about that. Uh, let's 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 be cool. Let's pretend he didn't say anything. 
Uh huh, you sure are quite the charmer, sir. Yes, I am known There's for that. There's a reason why. There's definitely a reason why, sir. <laughs> as much as I do appreciate the constant compliments, you don't have to keep talking to me like that. And, huh? Like what? <coughs> he batted his eyelids as if he had no idea what I, I was talking about, and I couldn't help but laugh. Well, like you're trying to get in my pants half the time. <laughs> I can assure you, I'm just a lovely, called it. beautiful woman. Who called it? I called it. <laughs> I can assure you, I'm just a lover of beautiful women. Of course you are, sir. Okay, I, I knew it. I knew it. Okay. <laughs> Something tells me that there's more to it than that. Why? Why does there have to be more to it than that? Why can't he just be that? He just is that. Can we let him be that, please? <laughs> please. What? Oh, this is the right answer. Oh, what's with the frowny face? No frowny face here, baby. No, no frowny face. <coughs> For a moment, he looked away, losing a bit of a smile. Before I could question it, though, he turned back to me with a new teasing smile. He's the one that had the attachment to his mom. That's this guy. This is the guy that's going to be the one that actually misses his mother, whoever that may be. This is this is the guy with mommy issues. Did you want there to be more? To be more? <sighs> yes. No. Depends. Maybe. Eh. What's for dessert? <coughs> I didn't want to hit him, but I didn't know how to react, so I couldn't look at him. He merely chuckled again in my ear. <laughs> Sorry. You just look so cute when you're that? blushing. Stop that. <coughs> I'm not blushing, okay? I'm just... I'm very red in the face. It's a thing. <coughs> I felt my face heat up simply from his words. Then I felt Eric take my hand and kiss it gently. Aw. Aw. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I hope you'll enjoy dinner, however, my dear. I, I certainly will, sir. Thank you. <coughs> I drew my attention back to the dishes. I was both intrigued and slightly scared by the amount of food that they made. Seeing my expression, Eric leaned forward and proudly smiled, gesturing to all the dishes with dramatic sweep of his arm. I made almost all of the dishes myself. I made almost all of the dishes Bullshit. myself. Like, I know guy, guys can cook. Guys can cook really well. But like, you, all by yourself. Mmm. Nah. Matthew laid out. And Sam, I'm assuming, was the one cleaning the blood in the hall. Kyoya could be micromanaging, just like a little bit. So maybe you made them all by yourself. But I'm thinking, nah. Nah. <coughs> Humorously enough, Matthew looked at him with a shocked expression, as if he was betrayed. His face changed in instantly to that of a frown. And I'm the queen of the Nile. Come again? Okay. Okay. We'll go with this. Ride with this. What's that supposed to mean? Me, you, and James did the work yep. together, dummy. Yeah, Sam was... Sam and Damien were on... No, wait, Sam was on blood, blood control. And Damien was... Watching me sleep. Oh, no. There was someone watching me sleep. Oh, okay. It's you, James, and I, James you, and I Matthew. You're, you're, you're doing good. With, you're doing good things with the grammar. <laughs> Little boys will always make mistakes. I... <laughs> 
they look so fabulous right now. Like they're all they got their hands on the hips, and he's just like, <coughs> Matthew looked at James in disbelief, probably from siding with Eric, and he annoyed, s and he annoyedly swiveled back to Eric to confront him. Oh, this is swivel chairs or something. No, no. I'm not a little boy. I'm barely a year younger than you. I don't see it. I'm sorry, kid. I don't see it. Well, you certainly don't act like it. Well, you certainly oh, don't no. act like Family it. troubles at the table. Of course. <laughs> Sips wine. I, I really couldn't help but laugh. Matthew seemed very much like a kid. He was adorable. However, I couldn't help but feel like in a way he was much more mature than the others, especially Eric. Like, come on. Huh? Nope. Is something funny? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's 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 nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you for the meal. All who were involved. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, miss. Thank you, cutie patoot. Such a well-mannered young lady. Beautiful inside and out. Eric, knock it off! Eric, like knock it off. Okay. In agreement with Matthew, Sam cocked up his head and glared at Eric. Uh-oh. Seriously, you're getting really annoying with that suck-up act. I feel like, like you know, when you ever, when you're ever at a friend's house and they had a, have a family argument. That's how I feel right now. Like, I feel like I'm just randomly here in the room while these people are arguing, when no one's supposed to be in here. Do I need to leave for you guys to sort out your shit or something? <clears throat> it was obvious that Sam was the bad boy of the group. He had this big, tough act, and it was obvious he was physically stronger than the rest of the guys. But was that more? Was there more to him than that? I don't think he looks physically stronger than the other guys. Damon looks the strongest because he's he's he looks like Yo Yo, but he's also kind of buff like Sam. I'm just trying to be a gentleman. The young girl has already gone through so much. She deserves a good treatment. Uh, don't br pull me into this, please. Please, don't pull me into this. I don't like that. Don't do that. Please, no. There's a difference between being a gentleman and being, a difference between being, a gentleman and being an obnoxious uh, flirt. <laughs> Schooled even by James. You're gonna need some cold water for that burn. Just gonna, just gonna sip my wine. Yep. <laughs> by the way, I don't believe we caught your name, even though you know each they of us. They finally asked my name. None of them know my name. Now, finally, after they've had a family argument that they are asking my name, I have, I have waited for this moment. Here we go. Do you know what my name is? Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm Holly, otherwise known as Benny Parrot Holly. Eric. Yeah, it's this it's this this little the little bunny bunny noise. Eric <laughs> Yeah, I'm crazy. Okay. It's a pleasure I to finally would like know it you if know. some of you remembered it. Please. But I don't really care if not all of you remember it. I mean you don't all have to remember it. Yeah, that's a nice name. Oh, thank you, Matthew. Yeah, that's a nice name. You you have a nice name as well. 
They were all comfortable around me, despite the awkward situation we were in. It was as if we were natural it was if it were natural for them to be around humans. I guess that's just how Incubi worked. That's that that is how Incubi worked. I I don't like don't they just I don't know. I don't know these things. Okay? I just I don't know. But I was still curious about one thing. I swear if you ask them all who their mothers are, don't do that. Ah uh, this excuse me Excuse me, sirs All at once they looked at me. I didn't know why, but having all of them look at me made me feel kind of important, like a queen or something. Really? Because it would make me feel very anxious. I would puke or something. Like, I feel like I'm gonna puke when one guy looks at me. But five of them at the same time? Yeah. I would have an aneurysm. I would die. What is it, miss? I wanted to thank you for the food, but I still want to know why you all came here. I don't... I feel like... I don't quite understand. You just kind of all showed up on my floor, all bloody, beaten up, close to death, and no one said anything about that, which I was surprised about. Understand? Yeah, like being told like that a bunch of incubi randomly appearing in your house is perfectly understandable. It was. It was. It was so understandable. Oh, um, how do yeah, we explain? Yeah. We were attacked. We came here to heal. What's the so difficult to understand? To heal. What did you think you would find here? I mean, the last resident of this building was, like, maybe an 80-year-old man. Like, ish, an 80-ish-year-old man. I don't... Unless one of you guys is really creepy, I don't think any of you all are into that. I should hope that none of you are all, are all into that because I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I'm not into that. We can't have none of that under here in this roof, under this roof. Now you're just Eric being has rude, point. Sam. Stop being a rude little bitch, Sam. Sorry, that felt good. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just saying, how was that difficult well, to understand? How the fuck did you get hurt? <laughs> I'm expressly asking for details. Now you're avoiding answering questions. I mean, it's different when I chose not to spill out completely information, and now you're just refusing to answer a question. Okay. All right. No, I mean, what specifically happened? Well, you see, we've been traveling around for quite some time now. Just recently, we came into town, but we were jumped by this elves. band of like, misfits. You were you were jumped by a band of elves or orcs or something like that. Please, please tell me you did. Oh, goblins, please. Please tell me you were jumped by gob- no, not goblins. Goblins would be stupid. Elves. Elves are better. So, in order to escape and heal, we came here for shelter. Again, we apologize yeah, for the mess. Yeah, no, it's, it's cool. It's not normal that I have a whole bunch of people's blood all over the floor. I mean, it's not even my floor. It's- it's fine, I guess. I mean, so you're all better now, right? Which is odd, because only two of you kiss me. How, do the rest of you just have spare energy or something? From, uh, maybe there's a maid around here. Yup, uh, all thanks to you. Ah, me! She still hasn't figured it out. She still hasn't caught up. You see, beautiful, we feed on sexual energy. But we don't just get it from kissing lovely ladies such as yourself. We can simply touch someone's hand to obtain sexual energy. Everyone carries sexual energy, you know. Um, why do I get the feeling you guys would starve around me? 
I just, I don't, I couldn't, I can't. Touching hands, oh my gosh. I, yeah, yeah. You guys would starve around me. I feel so bad. <laughs> I, I was still in shock about their powers. It wasn't just kisses that gave them power, it was anything physical. No wonder I was out for a while. Yeah, I mean... And they just touched your hands a second ago. He just kissed your hand. He was... He's... Uh, hogging all the power, actually. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. You're like... You're like a bandwidth hogger. What's wrong with you? These incubi intrigued me, but at the same time, I could almost hear a warning siren going off in my head. That warning siren's probably going along the lines of something like, Hey, you know at the end of the porn, when the girl, like breaks down, mentally has has a mental breakdown, or like, you know, just kind of dies, because, yeah, that's what you get. There are these things called STDs, and Incubi definitely have them. Is there anything have else you wish to know? Uh, well, well, what do you plan to do now? Now that, um... I don't know. What do you plan to do now? Yeah, what are we gonna do now, James? That is a very good question. We just got this here, is where I and surely we'll be hunted here, again if it? we leave. Can, can you? Take them easily. Can you, Mr. Little Bit of Gray Hair and Tired Eyes? Can you? Not without more training, Sam. The result of that was clearly evident in our last mm, encounter I'm with them. I'm sensing that this them is a very evident them. And Damon's just said nothing for this entire encounter. I love his sweet little face. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> At that moment, I didn't know what came over me, but I suddenly felt sorry for them. They couldn't possibly survive out there. If they didn't know it was illegal to break into people's homes, they probably didn't know a bunch of other stuff. They probably would cause chaos all over town. They probably knew it was illegal to break into people's homes, dear. I mean... I even... Even demons are kind of aware of that fact. Like, you don't just... Oh, okay, okay. We're not gonna... Or, on the flip side, they could be taken in for questioning and be poked and prodded like lap frogs for research. That makes... That was even worse. Or better. Depending on which side of the scalpel you were on. <laughs> but most of all, they reminded me of... Back then! Oh no, what's back then? No! No, this is gonna be sad. No. No. There was that matter of making sure that no one else found about my own secret powers. Because I am a wizard. Don't worry too much about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. Thank you, haunted grandfather. You could stay with me here if, if 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 you'd like that, but only if you'd like. Please don't seduce them or read their minds or whatever else the fuck you guys can do. 